Greetings viewers and welcome to Udon Thani and the Takanta place in Udon Thani. Let's check out the room. One of the things you might notice about this room is it is big has a real airy, spacious feel to it. You know, it's really, really spacious. And um, lots of capacity to uh, yeah, hang your Hawaiian shirt and uh, just really feel like you're uh, in a nice, spacious, almost residential style unit here at Ten Canter Place. Good reception, good reception on the TV there. Got the Fox News on, which is always good. I do like the couch. And uh, I just watched a movie sitting in that couch there and made myself a three-in-one coffee, as you do. So it's really, really nice. And um, there's an air conditioner with this unit, but uh, with the big wide balcony and a little bit of a breeze and a little bit overcast today, no air conditioning, just a little bit of breeze and sit there on the couch and, uh, and watch the TV, it's all good. So what about the bed? You know what, I think it's medium firmness, which is good and, and very comfortable and, uh, and it's a big king size bed as well. I'm liking the blue, don't you? The sky blue on the fridge. Now, there are no complimentaries provided because I'm staying here for a full month. Now, if you stay daily, it's different, but basically I bought my own supplies uh, they bought the, uh, they have the kettle provided for you, but uh, yours truly went and invested 390 baht in a little toaster because I'm going to be on an extended stay in Udon Thani. So um, there you go, toaster. Got the three in one coffees, funky little cups here, which I like as well, as well as their little orange coasters. Very nice. So, what about the bathroom? Well, the yellow contrasted with the black, very nice. Got your throne there, which is very, very nice. And you got your standard shower here. So a bit of a painting in the bathroom. I'm a bit of a fan of that. So there you go. Very nice butterfly there, lovely. Got your basin, vanity there. Nice big mirror, big mirror in this room. And I'm liking the, uh, the wooden doors, the wooden doors to the, uh, to the bathroom and the uh, wooden door has the main entrance as well, very nice. Extra pillows have been provided. I always like that. Some extra storage capacity here, which could be handy. Not necessarily needed for me because I'm traveling pretty light, but uh, there you go, a bit of extra capacity there, bit of storage. So I've tested the Wi-Fi. Fantastic Wi-Fi, really, really good Wi-Fi. I did, um, some work earlier today uh, on the laptop and yeah really impressed with the Wi-Fi here at Tancanta Place, Udon Thani. Some nice paintings on the wall from good old London town with your telephone boxes and your London, London buses. There you go. Lovely. Standard air conditioning remote here. So you've got your bedside table with another little bit of storage there and that's a pretty funky uh, bedside lamp. Look at the lampshade on that, that's pretty cool. And the lampshade and the bed all sort of colour coordinated there. Sits nicely off the ground which is a good thing as well. And you've got your little coffee table there as mentioned before with that pretty funky little blue couch too. So the obligatory 
balcony check. Let's go check out the balcony at 10 Canter Place, Udon Thani. Well, the balcony is a real winner. And I looked at a number of places uh, day before yesterday for monthly rentals. And the balcony at 10 Canter Place certainly was a bit of a uh, a bit of a bit of a tick in a box, that's for sure. Very comfortable little green chair provided as well. Sit out here with my uh, morning Joe in the morning. It's going to be lovely, and maybe a little beer in late in the afternoon. really large screen doors so you can basically open this place right up for those breezes to come through which I think is really really nice which I've done right now the air conditioner is off uh, it's a warm day but nice breeze coming through these big double screen doors really really tremendous so let's go outside and have a bit of a look around the surrounds of this hotel So you've got the security latch there. Always a fan of a security latch on the door. Just, um, you know, just an extra layer of security plus the push button lock as well. And of course you can give instructions when you are ready for your room to be made up and when you'd rather not be disturbed. Nice wide hallways, which is always a good thing. Now, I'm not sure what you would call this. Maybe a reading and reflection room, but it's really lovely. So, Tancanta Place, it's it's not a massive uh, complex, you know, some places I've looked at in Thailand with over 400 rooms in these massive condominium complexes, but um, here it's, um, it's a small complex, which is good. And you can see here, good double brick between the units. No paper thin walls here. And you can see again, those really good sized balconies. So a nice big reception area and they've got the uh, security cameras on so for that extra layer of security as well and um, the staff have been nothing but um, helpful and speak excellent English at reception as well so um, you know the check-in experience at the Tancanta place has been absolutely fantastic for yours truly. So Tancanta place it's set back set back from the uh, from the street which I like hotels that are set back a little bit from the street it's um, a little bit more quiet back there uh, but you still got a nice flat walk out to the uh, out to the main main road here And we are in a, a hospital district here, so when, you, um, when you're walking around here and going to the local shops and markets and uh, little cafes, you'll often see some folks in um, their hospital garb as well.
So this is one of the big uh, pluses of staying in the Encanta place. Nongpajak Public Park and uh, just full of walking trails around the lake. You've got the big ducks there too so um, you know you can go for your morning constitutional just literally a stone's throw from the hotel. Nongpajak Public Park. A, a real bonus in the location of this hotel. Residence as you wish to call it in my opinion. So down this way is a little uh, food hawker centre and uh, a little, you know, sort of uh, casual shopping place as well. So, you know, that's, that's handy. And basically you've got your hospital uh, right here. And right next to hospital is the uh, is some local markets. Get yourself some uh, some food here, some drink. There's a 7-Eleven there. There's actually one right next to the hotel as well, which we'll check out in a minute. Doggy, look at that. Whee. So you've got little hairdressers and massage places also right on the doorstep of the hotel. And there's the big 7-Eleven. You can see there's the 7-Eleven. And there's Tank Canter Place uh, driveway. So, you know, you haven't got to go far to uh, go and grab yourself some supplies. And I already have. It's quite a large 7-Eleven as well, which is good. Out the front, you've also got, they're just setting up now, like a little, uh, you know, pork uh, noodle rice place, uh, as well as uh, some desserts there as well. So, you know, you can uh, get yourself uh, stocked up right next door to your lodgings. So basically, if you go behind that 7-Eleven, the third 7-Eleven we've come across today, uh, there's fantastic open markets there. You can get uh, anything from your nice uh, mango pineapple shake to uh, some fantastic local Thai food in the uh, Hawker Centre that sits behind there. And uh, yeah, you've got the big roundabout here and some pretty schmicky do cafes are also in this area as well and if you are liking this video it's okay to give it a thumbs up as well actually be much appreciated cheers and once again folks you know outside this 7-eleven which is just one block from the uh, hotel you can actually uh, sit down and uh, have yourself some pork and rice and fried things too so there you go that's always really handy you've got pause remarket here food and favorites as they say and, and then opposite you got some more casual more casual shopping I quite like casual shopping don't you And folks, this is basically the uh, the Chinese graveyard here in uh, Udon Thani. We won't be going in there today, but there it is. It's basically just one block behind. Just over behind those buildings is the Tankanta place. You also see here some more casual coffee shop and uh, casual dining, which is great.
G'day Ganesh, Ganesh is here too. Ten can to place. There you go, there's the card for your convenience. So ten can to place. Really fantastic uh, initial impressions on a number of different levels. But the main thing is just the space. It just has a really roomy feel to it. I'm loving the big balcony and you know, just the whole nice open plan, one bedroom apartment. Feels more residential than a hotel. And uh, looking forward to spending the next month, basically the next 30 days here at Tancanta Place in Udon Thani. Thank you for dropping by.